hello and welcome students to this new video of the module digital electronics uh, this video is basically the continuation of the topic number system conversion and this is basically the part 5 of the topic number system conversion if you have not seen the earlier videos i recommend you to watch those videos and then come back to these videos basically what we are doing is we are making the complete playlist on the subject digital electronics so we are going to cover each and every topics of the digital electronics along with that i request you to follow me on the instagram as well as on the linkedin so these are the social media handles on which i give regular updates about myself so if you want to connect me regularly i request you to please follow me on the instagram as well as on the linkedin now without wasting much more time let's start this video so as you have read the title in this video what we are going to do is basically the conversion from hexadecimal number to the octal number as well as on this video we are going to do the reverse that means octal to hexadecimal this is basically the group 5 of the number system conversion in which we are going to explore this number system conversion so for doing this conversion you need to know group 3 and group 4 that we have covered in the earlier videos you guys can click here the link might be flashing somewhere over here you can click on that you can watch those videos and then come back to this video now uh, first we will do is hexa to octal conversion now to make this conversion easy the path we will choose is we will not directly do hexadecimal to octal we will do hexadecimal to binary that we have covered in the earlier video and then from binary we will do octal conversion okay so for that let's take one example i'm taking a b 9.1 f okay this is the number that i want to convert to octal number okay so first what i will do i am going to write down the binary of this hexadecimal number so for that i will first write each and every digit that i am having in the hexadecimal and then i have to write its binary in the group of four digits okay so for 9 the binary will become 1001 for b as it represents 11 so binary will become 1011 and a that represents 10 its binary will become 1010 for 1 the binary will be 0001 and for f the binary will be 1111 so this becomes the binary of the hexadecimal number ab9.1f now what we need to do we need to convert this binary number to the octal number so for doing that what we need to do we need to make the group of three digits okay so first group that we will make is this that is basically 001 after that the next group is this that is nothing but triple one then the next group is 010 and the last group is basically 101 similarly here also we will do that the first group is 000 the next group is triple one and the last group is double one and we will add one zero at the end so this becomes one one zero after that we need to write down its equivalent decimal so zero zero one is basically one triple one is seven zero one zero is two and one zero one is five so it is five two seven one point zero 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 is zero one 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 is seven one one zero is six so basically the answer of ab 9.1f is 5 to 71.076 so this is how you need to do the hexadecimal to octal now we'll take the conversion from octal to hexadecimal guys if you are liking this series if you are liking this type of videos then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button it will definitely motivate me a lot to making this content regularly also there are so many other types of videos available on this channel so i request you to go through that videos also and like those videos it will really motivate me to bring this kind of content regularly on this channel now coming back to this topic let's do the conversion from octal to hexadecimal here the octal number that we are going to take is let's say 562.177 okay so this is the octal number that we need to convert into the hexadecimal number so here also we will follow the path that first we will do octal to binary and then from binary to hexadecimal see why we are doing this because this is the easiest way of conversion right so i will write down the digits 562 
0.177 then what i need to do for each and every digit i need to write down its binary in the group of 3 bits right so first of all i will write down the binary of 2 in the group of 3 digits that is nothing but 0 1 0 then for 6 the binary will become 1 1 0 and for the 5 the binary will become 1 0 1 then for 1 the binary will become 0 0 1 for 7 the binary will become triple 1 and again for 7 the binary will become triple 1 now we are getting the binary number of the octal number 562.177 after that we need to convert this binary number into the hexadecimal number and for doing that the key is we need to make the group of four digits so first group that we will have that is nothing but 0010 the second group over here will be 0111 and the last we are having one okay we can add three zeros also but it will not change any values so you can skip that also now after the point we need to make the group of four digits so the first group will be 0011 the second group will be 1111 and the last group will be 1 and then triple zero right after that the last point is we need to write down its equivalent decimal so 0010 stands for 2 0 triple 1 stands for 7 0 0 0 1 obviously it is nothing but 1 then we are having a point here 0 0 1 1 is 3 1 1 1 1 is f and last 1 triple 0 is nothing but 8 so this is your answer so the hexadecimal conversion of the octal number 562.177 is 172.3 f8 i hope with these two examples you guys are very much clear that how to do octal to hexadecimal as well as hexadecimal to octal conversion we are going to continue this digital electronics in the further videos till that point i request you all to like this video subscribe this video and share this video to the students to your friends to your family those who are dealing with this subject and they need this type of content so I request you to share this video and at the end I would like to thank all of you for continuously supporting me through this journey of the education and finally it's time to say goodbye we will meet in the next video.